Guys, just a side note, I just want to say, I literally just found this out. This is Simon's first burst. So Simon, hats off to you, man. Um, if you guys want to see another video on the whole mindset aspect of this and how he actually did his first burst at this scale, let us know and we'll make it happen. But yeah, this is his first burst, so make sure you guys are paying attention because Simon, this is literally his first time. This can be you. What is going on, everyone? Radiz here, and today I'm with my good friend, Simon. What's up, Simon? How's it going? So if you guys don't know who Simon is, make sure you check out the previous video we did on my channel where we talked about how he pretty much quit his job to go full-time into real estate. But without that, let's just say this video is going to be pretty valuable. We're actually going to be walking through one of Simon's flips. So Simon, do you maybe want to tell my audience, you know, what the numbers are, you know, what exactly this flip has to offer? Sure. So um, we are currently in Oshawa. Uh, we bought this property in uh, December. Uh, we purchased it for uh, 405. 405. Um, so it was slightly above asking price. It was a purchase right off MLS. Uh, we're going to be putting in around uh, 60 to 70K in rentals. Okay. Uh, we're going to be putting in a legal accessory apartment in the basement. Right. Um, and we believe that the after repair value on this will be uh, high fives, low six. High five, low um, six. So there's good amount of money for profit. And in terms of strategy, uh, we're either gonna be doing a burr and holding on to it yeah. um, with the legal accessory apartment having two tenants, or uh, we're gonna check out the condition of the market in two, three months yeah. um, and see if there's there's some uh, if there's an opportunity for a flip with some big profits. Gotcha, and when he says big, big profits, we're talking about almost around the 100K mark, right? Yeah, I think we'll be around the, the one to 120 range yeah. after our selling costs. Cool, and you plan on getting this ready by you said two to three months? Yeah, exactly. So uh, essentially the approach I'm taking is I'm gonna be gener being a general contractor here. Okay. Um, Cause I find that based on, you know, some of the other people that I've worked with in the past and some of the other investors, a lot of people run into issues when they bring in general contractors in terms of, you know, them not being here or you yeah. know, causing delay. So I'm gonna be stepping in and being the general contractor just so I can make sure everything is on schedule and Awesome. moving fast yeah and saving some costs as doing well. it yourself yeah. yeah okay cool yeah let's get right inside and we'll show you guys what's being fixed what's being changed and yeah you guys can see it this is the i guess what was this before so this was, so the, main area this was the this was the family room okay. um slash tv area okay so yeah so right now we're standing in the in the family room um we're actually not doing much upstairs besides laying in uh, floors, uh, paint, and some new doors. Uh, we're not removing any walls or, or changing the layout of the upstairs unit. Right. So upstairs should be done within, you know, a two to three week period. And as you can see, guys, are just working here yeah. as we're going. So we have three bedrooms upstairs okay. that are identical in size. So what we're doing here is we're going to be um, just upgrading the light fixtures, um, putting in new uh, closet doors. We're going to do the, that barn style sliding door. Oh, okay. Um, and then laying in new floor and new paint job for upstairs. So okay. um, upstairs should be a very quick um, process to essentially complete. Just some like lipstick type of stuff. Exactly. Very just better. TLC. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. And that's three bedrooms in here. Exactly, three awesome. bedrooms. Now, Simon, why don't you talk about the washroom? Because I know you're doing some crazy stuff over here. Yeah, Walk so um, essentially the what we're going to be doing with the bathroom is we're going to be taking out this wall and extending it out to the hallway. So we're going to have one door. So as soon as you open the door, we're going to have the, the laundry um, behind this door over here. Okay. We're going to have a stackable laundry. And um, removing that wall is going to give us extra extra space in the bathroom where we can have potentially a uh, spot for two vanities. Um, a sink, bath, and tub, and obviously we'll paint, lay new floors, and just make it look more appealing. Cool. So again, guys, basically what Simon's saying is the door's going to be literally right here, laundry, and then a bigger washroom. Correct. Right? So yeah, yeah, just adding that extra space for both the washroom and the laundry. Cool. Yeah. Let's go ahead. And now, now we're walking into the kitchen. So we're gonna attempt to remove this wall so we can create an, an open atmosphere. Yeah. Um, 
So that's our, our first goal. If we're able to do that, great. But if we're not and we get hit with a, an obstacle, we're gonna do a cutout here, okay. where if you're in the family room, you can look into the kitchen, or if you're in the kitchen, you can look out to the, into the family room. Right, so open concept. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, cool. And so this is where the kitchen will be? Exactly. So the kitchen right now, this is a, like a, a clean canvas, so we can get creative and you know, decide if we're gonna put the stove um, in this area, the fridge back here, um, the sink here. So we're gonna, based on the cabinetry system that we, we purchase, we'll, we'll be making decisions on where things are gonna go. Okay, cool. And yeah, just so you guys do see as well, right there is what Saman's talking about, right? Over there, there's a family room. If they can't get rid of this whole wall, then let's do a little bit of a cutout so you get that open concept exactly. vibe, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna go to the basement, which yeah. you're gonna convert into a label too. Exactly. Oh, do you maybe wanna talk about um, what you're doing with the, uh, like, blocking yeah. off and all that business? Yeah, so we have two options here. We're either going to completely block off uh, the one unit from the other unit, or we're gonna have fire-rated doors here where um, whoever purchases the property, if we do decide to sell, whoever purchases the property will have the opportunity to use it as a uh, two unit rental or if they're purchasing it as a principal residence, they'll have the ability to walk to the basement from the upper unit. Yeah, and I think it's important because Saman obviously has options, as he previously mentioned, he might either refer this or he might even flip it. So if he yeah. burns it, he might think of, you know, keeping this here so he has that extra option as opposed to if he's flipping it, you know, it really doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Let's go check out the basement. the staircase so as you walk down the staircase you're gonna come in and this is going to be the kitchen area so the cabinetry system will be on these two walls uh, we'll have a uh, an island right here uh, with the with a sink um, and then the family room will be within this area and then we'll have one bedroom on this back wall and then another bedroom on that side. So in through over there, another bedroom. Yeah. So uh, we have two bedrooms right now, and we're gonna have a third bedroom, which would be on the opposite side of the um, of the basement. So we're doing a three bedroom configuration in, in the basement, and that's because when when I look at comparables in terms of what's selling in terms of the legal duplexes, yeah. the three bedrooms are bringing in three up, three down, right. are bringing in forty to fifty k more in terms of uh, purchase price. So okay, cool. It made sense to. And that was a change. Initially, we were gonna have two bedrooms down here, right. but after looking at the numbers, it made sense to do three, especially since we have the space to do it. Right, okay, yeah. makes sense, yeah. yeah. And I guess we'll get over and show you guys the third bedroom or where it's yeah. gonna be. So the third bedroom will be through here. And in this area. Yeah. So this will be the third bedroom. Cool. And there will be a washroom over there, yeah. right? And the bedrooms are placed strategically where there are windows, so right. we don't have to create additional windows. Smart, smart. Yeah. Exactly. And we're going to be blocking off the utility room, and we'll have sprinkler heads in there uh, in the event that, you know, there there is an emergency of, of fire. So we'll make sure that that's um, covered. And the bathroom is going to be in here and again we're kind of taking the same approach of having the, the stackable laundry within the bathroom so the wall for the bathroom will be till here and we're gonna have uh, a three to four piece bathroom with a stackable laundry okay wow cool and this basement worked out really well for us because ceiling heights were great mm -hmm. um, the uh, we have 200 amp service down here, so we don't have to go and upgrade the service. Um, and we have plenty of windows where we can place our bedrooms and only have to put in one egress um, window for a secondary exit. Boom, there you go. So Saman, I mean, I think you did a great job explaining that. Do you maybe, do we maybe wanna head upstairs? 
let my audience know once again what the numbers are and just kind yeah. of give them some tips. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. So Simon, why don't you give my audience a quick recap of the purchase price, uh, estimated rental budget, ARV, and yeah, what you plan on doing? Sure. So we purchased the property for four hundred five. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect to put um, fifty to sixty k uh, worth of renovation yep. into the house, and we believe that the after repair value will be um, high fives, low sixes. So. Five ninety or six oh five, somewhere within that range. Cool. So about a hundred or one hundred twenty k profit, guys. Yeah. Guys, like I said, if you haven't already checked out Saman's stuff, go follow him on Instagram. Um, we'll leave it down below and check out the previous video we did Saman. And we also have another video coming out with Saman. And if you guys want to see the after, so when the property is completely renovated, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a like on this video, comment down below, ask us any questions we have, and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And until next time, see you guys all later. Thanks and goodbye.